can still sing. It's been a while. I don't know if it's working. Is it working? It's working! Hey, sugar baby. Hey, Bridzy. Don't even know why I'm live, if I'm honest. Just sort of thought, I'm going to go live. Why not go live? I'm going to go live. I'm going to make a nice ambiance in my room. Don't mind me. Just going to make a nice ambiance. Oops, just burped. Crack on that. And what I'll do is I'll turn off these main lights to save the polar rest because there's so many bulbs. But although they are LED, which is energy efficient, turn off the main light. Then I'll sit down here like that. Been celebrating tonight. Many events. So, I'm going to light you. I've been celebrating. But, uh,. Hello, Ryan. Hello, B. Amy. I just hope everyone's okay, really. Confusing times, isn't it? Like, how confusing is all of this? What is going on in the world? I don't even know. I went to the shop earlier. So many of the aisles were empty. I was just like, why are so many things empty? But I did manage to treat myself to some bourbon biscuits, which is great. But only three, because we're limited to three at a time, guys. So do your bit. Don't be greedy in the supermarkets. Just, you know, take what you need. What you need for right now in the next few days. And make sure that, you know, all of those uh, dedicated um, and, you know, committed, all those kind of words, all those workers at the hospitals and the shops. I made a big thank you, a thing about saying a big thank you to the shop worker earlier. I was like, thank you very much. Um... And I wish I sat there, I wish I just stood there and spoke to her for a sec. So I appreciate that she's still at work and she's making sure that everyone gets food. Um, same for all the hospital workers right now. They're all just, like, so selfless. Like, thank you for, you know, doing what you do. I know the government's given all these grants to, like, self-employed people and other businesses and stuff like that so that they can keep their businesses afloat. But there's all these other people at the same time who are making sure that the rest of us and our loved ones and the vulnerable are are kept safe and I appreciate those people every day so if you're one of those people your parents are one of those people send money to them and make sure they feel loved because um, it's funny how we take so many things for granted I don't, honestly don't really think about hospital workers a lot or doctors or nurses as I'm sure most of you um, many people think about those kind of people on a daily basis but it's times like right now where we're like wow one of the most important jobs in the world it really is um, big love to all those people and let's make sure they feel let's make sure they feel the love um, but yeah had had some fun tonight in isolation just making sure that us us peoples in the house are uh, in good nick and um, and uh, play some ping pong which is good listen to some tunes had like a mini jam downstairs which was great um, it's important guys you know keep your mental state in a good place be positive um, be generous, try and help people where you can, um, but make sure you also look out for yourself, it's important that you stay in good nick as well, so you can help those other people, um, hello Sammy, twin, hello Marja Saramek, um, you lot, you are crazy, um, I feel bad a little bit about, um, like, you know, promoting anything or, releasing content in a weird way like i feel like there's much much bigger priorities right now that everyone should focus on um so i don't like the idea of you know posting content and being like everyone let's look at road trip look at me um because everyone should be focused on really what's important but at the same time i feel like uh, we are entertainers um i feel like it's important time for us to try and distract people from some of the chaos, um, which I know that you guys know, there's not a lot we can do about. We kind of have to hope that the powers that be um, fix the mess and um, and help everyone. Uh, I'm sure they're doing a great job of. And the rest of us, we just got to stay positive and distract ourselves. And hopefully us us boys, us guys, men, really, let's be honest. I've got chest hair now. <laughs> um, I've had a few years. Just hidden it very well. Um, it's time for us to try and you know, offer a little bit of a little bit of fun, 
it'll be fun in these weird times and hopefully it takes your minds off uh, the stresses of daily life at the moment um, but just remember to be uh, to be loving and to all those other people see you later to all those other people uh, around you who um, who might need help uh, or might who just who, they might just need your responsibility like I've made a very strong point of not seeing my uh, my family for the next three months, I'm not going to see my dad. My dad's a high-risk person. He's over 60. Wouldn't like me saying that, but he's over 60. Um, he's got some respiratory issues, and I um, make sure I don't see him. And we work together a lot, so, um, you know, it makes it things kind of tricky, but it's important to put health first. Um, and then just any elderly people or anyone I see when I'm walking around outside, because I try and keep it relatively normal, go on walks and stuff here and there, go on a run. Um, just try and keep distance a little bit, but also make sure you give them a little wave and be like, all right, guys, I hope you're having a good day. Because, um, you know, you don't want people feeling truly isolated. You still got to acknowledge people. We're still humans. Um, so, yeah, just wanted to spread that message. Not that you need it. I know you're all very switched on, and I'm sure you got your heads in the right place in this uh, trickling stage. Tricky stage, not trickling. Tricky stage that the world's in. Uh, but you know that we, we find a good way as humans through things and uh, coming out strong on the other side and I personally so much more responsible for all the resources I use on a basis like things like flushing the toilet leaving the tap on and, uh, and eating food like I feel like man I waste so much stuff and energy on a daily basis without even realising it and I'm one of those people who's quite conscious of those things already I always like try and s switch lights off and say save the polar bears like just as like a passing message to everyone, like say the polar bears guys, come on, just keep the lights off. Uh, but now I feel that more than ever. I'm like, whoa! Not only with the coronavirus, have we got to be responsible with food rations and making sure that everyone else is catered for as well. But just with everything else in general, like I have so much bullshit in my room. Sorry for language. Like so much stuff I just don't need, um, and stuff that makes me feel inadequate to the greater good. Um, and I feel like this whole stint that we're in is mother nature's way of saying look humans you've taken it too far let's just reset a little bit um and i think everyone's gonna be better off for it i feel a lot more uh, a lot closer to the people around me because i'm thinking about them more and i'm like make sure that my actions don't have you know an equal and uh, catastrophic reaction on them I have just I have just said that about being responsible and thinking about other people. But just remember that I haven't called my mother today, and it's Mother's Day. I tried calling her this morning, though. I left her a voicemail. She didn't respond. And I left her a message. She didn't respond. Uh, so, Mum, it's your fault if you watch this. But I love you. Happy Mother's Day. Um, I'm going to call her after this. Uh, I said that because she just messaged me whilst I was live. Probably rambling a little bit. May have had a bit, a bit to drink, so I'm in a waffly kind of mood. But everything I say still holds a lot of volume. Um... I really do think that I think I appreciate everything a lot more right now. And I have the in a strange way. I have this moment that we're in in society to thank for that. Um, and I hope that those these thoughts that I'm having right now are stay consistent for me for the rest of my life. And that you do have to be careful with the amount of energy you use and the amount of rubbish you buy and all that kind of stuff. And think about, you know, lots of things. It wakes you up a little bit. Um, let's take it as one big happy slap. But I love you guys. Stop those comments. Be nice. She's, she's watching now. My mum's watching. Mum, I love you. I'm going to call you in a sec. You're a great mum. You always have been. And, um, and I'm very, very sad that I can't be with you right now. But I hope that you're having a good day, wherever you are. Um, and happy birthday to Marina Diemez. It's got nothing to do with you, mum. She was in the comments. She wanted to make sure she felt the love. Um, you're a great mum. I hope Sammy and Sean are on the treadmill doing their thing. It sounds a bit out of context, but my dad bought a treadmill. He's been making the boys work hard whilst they've been off school. Um, but yeah, guys, it's nearly Easter. Let's try and enjoy ourselves. Keep positive. Um, we've got to try not to take life too serious, but, uh, but do be responsible at the same time. Um, I'm going to wake up in the morning and probably forget most of this live stream. But I'm going to keep it there for 24 hours anyway, because I'm ballsy like that. Um, oh, yeah, I put I shaved the thing in my chest. Oh, I've already spoke about that. It's on my Instagram. Um, 
But yeah, we just came to try as road trip. We're going to try it for you guys and hope that you enjoy it. And there's something that you can relish in a little bit and you can, you know, have a bit of fun by watching. Um, but I don't want, I don't want you guys to think that, you know, we think uh, that we're important right now. Um, if that sounds right, because what's important is, you know, the great good of the world and everyone's health and well-being. Um, but just bear in mind, we do feel like we play a role in making sure everyone feels that little bit of a uh, little bit of enjoyment each day, whether it's a vlog or a music video or whatever it is, uh, or maybe this just takes your mind off things a little bit. Hello, I'm live. Me, no man, <laughs> not at all. Anyway, and on that bombshell, as Jeremy Clarkson would say, love you, Jeremy. This is Harper. Recently, I had a haircut, and he looks like uh, Leo on Wolf Wall Street. Don't you? Huh? I don't know. I, I don't know Harper. Man, that photo you put up earlier, sexy. Thanks, man. Very sexy. Appreciate that. Same to you. Mate, I appreciate you and your health. This house has done pretty well with staying healthy. We've all been a bit ill, but we're quite healthy. Yeah, Act Act Exactly. Act Mo, sponsor us, please. Uh, but yeah, love you guys. Have a good night. And um, have a good life. Stay safe.